Let's open a 1980 Penfolds Grange. This is one of the most iconic bottles coming out of Australia and one I've been excited to open. We're gonna start by taking off the foil here and as you can see, it's giving me a little bit of trouble because it is, you know, 40 plus years. But once I get it open, you'll see it's pretty dirty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and wipe that off. I've got a damp cloth here, you see, much better. After that, grabbing my Durand, we're gonna separate these two pieces. I'm gonna go in first with the worm, very, very delicately soft. I can feel how soft the cork is, so I'm really glad that I'm doing this. Once I get that all the way in, I'm going to go in with the also piece, longer side first, then wiggle side to side very gently, kind of rocking down. And then once that's flush, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out very slowly and gently, just pulling, twisting, and this is going to keep my cork intact and prevent it from breaking. Once I get to about three quarters of the way there, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out with my hand. Oh yeah, look at that cork. It definitely would have fallen apart if I went with a regular wine key. Wipe it again clean and then grab my Gabrielle glass. Now I'm pouring myself a little bit of a taste here. And you'll notice I'm pouring this directly from the cradle to keep it at that horizontal angle. And this is to keep the sediment from moving all around the bottle. Let's check the color. It looks beautiful. I'm going to give it a little swirl, smell it, and then give it a taste because I want to see if this wine needs to be decanted. This is always such a tough call, but the wine is giving me a lot already. So I think I'm just going to leave it in the bottle, leave it open. And then in about two to three hours when we have it, that wine will have had enough air and will be beautiful when we're ready to drink it. Also stay tuned because you're going to die when you see what I drink with this.